Hi everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from the NBAA show in Las Vegas, Nevada, where one of the big stories is this. This is the Avalon system, a new glass panel system from Sandell. Been uh, caused quite a stir here, and there are a lot of people looking at it. And we got a detailed tour of it from Jerry Block of Sandell. This is the Avalon system intended for the King Air. We're modifying a King Air 200 aircraft right now, and the displays were a little different. They are a tiled display. It's not a single synthetic vision display. This display does support synthetic vision in the primary flight display and the HSI. In this view for this demonstration, we're not showing the synthetic vision, but it does have multiple tiles. So up in the upper left is, a, is the primary flight tile, which is a pretty familiar. Down here is obviously the horizontal situation display. But when you get up to the upper right, it starts to get new. The upper right has the altimeter tape and it has a vertical flight display. And the vertical flight display contains the vertical path and it also has a small white line there which is the current path of the aircraft. What is playing back now is an actual flight that was taken in our King Air 200 and uh, it's just following a racetrack pattern around uh, McCarran Airport. And when you're flying, for instance, an ILS approach or any other kind of approach, a magenta line will show up um, showing the descent angle, and if the white uh, um, flight path angle um, is superimposed on that magenta line, you're flying that flight path. Very easy to fly. This is something that's new. Below it is a, another vertical display. It's similar, except it, it's ranged with the horizontal situation display. The upper display only shows three minutes of the flight. This display is ranged to the horizontal situation display. So you can see as I range the horizontal situation display, the vertical view ranges also. So you can see what's happening in lateral and what's happening in vertical at the same time. So it gives a lot more visibility to what the airplane's doing in vertical. And we believe there's a lot of uh, safety considerations with allowing the pilot to see that vertical situation where maybe they haven't been able to visualize it before. Um, we have uh, a multifunction area which is right now just showing plane legs data but for instance if I hit this comm soft key you can see you can tune radios from it, uh, set volumes and so on and so forth. So because the system is designed this way it does not require an, a separate audio panel audio is integrated into the system. It even, in, it even includes uh, iPad chargers and uh, passenger audio, including the digital intercoms. The, to the right of the display are some hard controls. There is a active comm is always on this hard control. So you have volume and tuning for the active comm always there. So you don't have to go to a menu to adjust it. And down in the lower right are context sensitive knobs that are attached to that multifunction display. If we want to show one more feature, it would be this strip. This is the communication strip and it shows you what this knob is talking to. So it's the VHF-1 and it shows the frequency and the nomenclature for that uh, frequency, in this case Las Vegas Tower. Here's uh, uh, an engine displays. These engine displays are uh, highly programmable in the sense that for different airframes they can be reconfigured. And they're also dynamic gauges, so they have um, expanded scales where you need resolution and it has less expanded scales where you don't need resolution. And uh, they're intended to be mostly white with not much color showing. Um, we're avoiding having green arcs and other colors where possible. And we also have an, an integral fuel um, gauging system which shows, in the case of the Kinger, it shows all the tanks all the time, which is something you can't normally see in a Kinger. Up here is a path guidance panel. This is a new device right now. It's just showing a static view on the displays, but it is it combines the functions of a mode control panel along with path screens to show you what the airplane's going to be doing in lateral and vertical in the next three minutes. So it's really an important safety feature. It will allow you to not have to guess about what the automation's doing or not doing. You can see right into the future about what it's going to do and take action. And last but not least, we can show you what happens. This is one of the displays that's been turned off. 
and behind it is these micro racks with micro LRUs and those comprise essentially one side of the airplane behind the other display is a similar rack and it contains all these micro cards which contain the normal avionics function. This entire system closed up like this is shipped as a single piece it's all pre-wired it's all the data bus cables are pre-wired. The dealer does not have very much installation labor to get the system in the King Air. So this can be done between 100 and 150 hours of labor, which is unheard of.